Chris Plant, tell me what you've learned since we last talked. Well, in speaking to people uh, here at, uh, at the Pentagon, as they're being evacuated from the building, I am told by several people that there was, in fact, an explosion. I was told by one uh, witness, uh, an Air Force enlisted, uh, senior enlisted man, that he was outside when it occurred. He said that he saw a helicopter circle the building. He said that it appeared to be a U.S. military helicopter and that it disappeared behind the building where the helicopter landing zone is. Excuse me. <clears throat> and that he then saw a fireball uh, go into the sky. Uh, I'm attempting to make my way around to that side of the building in my car right now uh, to see if I can get uh, a better uh, visual perspective on the scene on that side of the building. But I can tell you that security has certainly clamped down. The U.S. Park Police and other federal law enforcement uh, department has arrived in force on the scene. There's a Park Police helicopter overhead. Uh, every car that arrives at the gate uh, where I was located was being stopped by officers at gunpoint. Everyone is being forced out of their vehicles as they arrive at the Pentagon. It's a very tense situation, obviously, uh, but initial reports from witnesses indicate that uh, there was, in fact, a helicopter circling the building. Uh, contrary to uh, what the AP reported, according to the witnesses I've spoken to anyway, uh, and that this helicopter disappeared behind the building and that there was then an explosion. Uh, that's about all I have from here. Okay, L let's do this, Chris. Why don't you continue reporting, and we'll pass along a couple of other things that we're picking up along the way. 